Hello there. Welcome to On the Bright Side. I am Daniel. And I am joined by Tiffany. Hey, Odie. And this is Vinland Saga. Last time we we learned about the head of the farm, Kettle, and how and how his life's a sham. He's actually a nice guy, and for be, he has to lie about that, apparently. This time, farm, agriculture. Well, I'm good with farm. No, I'm good with farm too. I am a farm, actually. Three, two, one, go. Crying? What? Hi. Hi, Thorfinn. Red Sky, why? Having a bad time, having it, a bad time. Isn't this Einar's family? That's baby Einar. So, like, in a past life, I would have murdered. You can change, Thorfinn. Oh, goodness, golly gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, fun. What the hell? No, we're, what kind of we're fun still game dreaming. Are you having, my dude? This dream sucks ass. You ever have a dream where you're climbing? Whatever. Yeah, I've. Ew. 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 Oh, that's kind of like um the visual on the opening, actually. Owie. Ooh, ooh, but nastier. Nastier. Oh my god. Oh, it's even beautier. Einer's <laughs> was like, Einer's like, I was waiting for the, I was waiting for this, my da the daily screaming. It's like a free TV show. Some people watch the news. Some people watch their homies screaming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's my dad. My second dad that I tried to kill. He's my toxic dad. My toxic dad. It's beautiful. It's always beautiful. It was interesting that he dreamt about Einar, though. He's beginning to be someone that he cares about. <sighs> so this is going to be a Thorfinn episode, huh? They're great. Hard at work. What's the work? The log. Right, these guys are gonna be assholes. They're gonna be all like, oh. They're gonna become the favorites. So one of them's gonna pull a bitch ass move. Which one is it gonna be? You're just mad because you soup! Yeah, well, are you gonna go against his orders? <laughs> I don't know about that. God forbid we treat all people as people. Oh, we're revealing backstory. <sighs> no. I don't know, like, I mean, I, I get how that could be frustrating. <laughs> I think there's a lot of things he's not over. Give him therapy, please. You think that Viking times had therapy? He ain't wrong. Yeah. Makes you be like, well, what did I... What was my purpose? He's made his <sighs> entire life's purpose hate. There ain't really nothing else left there. That's why revenge is funky, y'all. <sighs> well... <laughs> <laughs> he ain't trying to hear all that. We're gonna have to try and figure out what will make Thorfinn whole. Hey, are we fishing? Yeah. It's beautiful. Yep. <laughs> That's true. You're at the bottom, there's only one place to go. Well, 
Sure. It's not easy, though. Oftentimes. <laughs> yeah, you weren't really like that. Yeah. Oh god, you're lucky that you have supportive people around you. <laughs> Why is this arc so fucking wholesome? Oh no. Uh uh. Our farm. Immediately after being wholesome. Of course. Our wheat! Someone's gonna Never die died. tonight! On Team Seven's house on fire! Set this punk bitch's house on fire! Make it look like an accident! They're gonna be all like, Oh, you can't prove anything. I'm already- I'm already getting mad at the, the people in, in point, particular. I'm not even worried about proving anything! Just set his house on fire! I don't have to prove nothing! Cook! This can only be done by a person. I just gonna go beat their ass. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't trying to prove nothing. He ain't trying to prove nothing. He ain't worried about it. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what are you talking about? We can't plant again for a long time. Yeah, but they're entitled farmers. Lazy ass farmers as well. Uh, but you made this. This is probably gonna get. Are you about to pop a vein? Calm down. This is probably gonna get Einar to relax, but. Yeah, calm down so we can give them some nice cold revenge. Hot revenge doesn't work. Yep, the retainers are highly likely. They are the only one on this farm who hates us this much. They're actively bullies. Because right. bitches! <laughs> I'm on your side! It is a dark day. Oh, it's a double bet, John. It's gonna be okay, bud. That's messed up. Oh, it's a double bet. Oh, it's a double bet. Oh, it's a double bet. Oh, it's a Certainly lives that humans were not meant to live. All right, time to kill them. <laughs> and they're gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna slip up. All right, time to murder. <laughs> it's murder time. Damn, we couldn't just give him like one, like one good tap of the nose. Just one. Just one. You knew this was gonna happen. You still asked the same question. Oh my god. Kill you. That's all I said. I said it. I said it. I said it. I said it. Ooh, I'm just gonna get him. One. Oh, Let's but it's yeah. Thorfinn! Get yeah, bitch! Ooh, Thorfinn got him! Give him, give him another punch. Another one. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm happy now. Oh my god, you broke his jaw! You said hit him again, Daniel? <laughs> his jaw's broken, Daniel! Hit him again! <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Alright, we're having a fun time. We're having fun here. Thorfinn, do one of your spin attacks. Dang, the crippling depression. It's like. Yes, not the time for you to have this moment, bro! Oh boy. Crippling depression.
I swear to God. I need to know how this ends. All right. It is a dark day. Oh Our... no, it's a good day. Well, no, it's a bad day. Our farm's gone. It's, no. a bad, it's, a, it's a bad day because our farm's gone, but it's a good day because we finally knocked that bitch back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. But that's not like that's gonna not going to regrow our farm. No, it's and not going to regrow our farm it's, or put the nutrients back into the soil. It's like we were talking about during the, during the ending. It's going to put us in front of Kettle, who has to keep up appearances and punish somehow, even though he probably doesn't want to. Yep. And even if they aren't punished and they end up getting their seeds back, it's like, like Anar said, like they, it's like the the weed already took out the nutrients he was using to grow. So like at this, when you already um, borrowed seeds uh, before, so like before when you were starting at ground zero, now you kind of start kind of starting off at ground negative two. <laughs> so yes, it's infuriating, and obviously there was no way that it was going to end besides a fight. Like I don't know what these people thought. Like you can't. Like, obviously, you three men. <laughs> obviously, you were gonna get the pu punch the fuck out. It's like if you were acting like normal, like you weren't egging him on, like you're just acting like normal, like it never happened. You might have had a shot of him not hitting you, but you had to start trying to rub it in. Next episode, please let us see Thorfinn just, just, just absolutely fuck him all up. If well, if we're if we're already fighting, then for the love of God. It's like so let, at least that parents, catharsis, right? It's like when it comes to some parents who are like, uh, if you're going to get into a fight at school, at least win the fight. Yeah. How the other <laughs> how the other kid look? We learn that Pater used to be a slave. I I had forgotten. I think I'm remembering from the scene where he bandaged them up that he was all like, "Hey, I get it. Come to me. We appreciate that, and I hope that he advocates for them if they do." Because they're gonna get in trouble. Someone's gotta advocate for them. They've been they have been gaining goodwill with everyone but the retainers. Like, like I don't want I don't want him to speak up for him because the last time he speaked up for somebody, he was like, Oh yeah, let him have uh, let, give him mercy, but also beat them. No one said he's a good dude. He just sides with he's, the slaves. He's he's the lesser of multiple evils here. Yeah. But they're also uh, at least somewhat friends with Kettle's dad, who... So he might speak up for him, like, hey, they're a hoe. They're good, hardworking people. They would never they would never start this fight without a reason. That being said, on the end that uh, Kettle is at, like, I mean, you only see the profits from the farm, so you're going to see profits from the, from the retainers. Fuck those guys. Imagine being grown ass men and bullying people like little fucking school children. Grown ass men. At the very least, if they start bullying other grown ass men, that's the only that's the only thing I can be like, okay, at least it's yeah, they're grown but, ass people. But if they were men. like if they were like younger, they they'd be the same. I They'd I, be the same. They're opportunistic. Ass <laughs> grown <laughs> men. Ass grown men. <laughs> The sad part is, they probably have no ass to speak of. Both of you to think that uh, that, uh, that having an ass would have made them um, redeemable. Yeah, but having no ass makes them even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Einar and Thorfinn, are they caked up? I don't think they are. I don't think slaves get the kind of food that you need to get caked, Daniel. Even if they are like rich people slaves and not like bad time slaves i'm just thinking i'm just thinking <laughs> if this were golden kamui we would have found those answers out we would have found out whether they were caked up or not and the answer would have been absolutely <laughs> and they're only here wearing <laughs> loose ass clothes anyway so how would you know einer's more likely to have caked than dorvin uh yeah sure yeah i agree <laughs> anyway <laughs> the other thing was that um einer had found out about uh Arnheid's slave deal that's rough buddy like oh yeah she's trapped I feel like we were like, oh yeah, she's probably trapped. That's confirmed. Yeah. If were he not married, he could like you can gain some sort of freedom through that. But like, slaves are usually kept as concubines. So, well, given how crusty that woman looked, there's a higher, a highly uh, likelihood of her dropping out of here. If kettle, if kettle were a worse, crusty. if kettle were a worse person, like not a nice person. <laughs> would have she would have already had dropped dead oh no how could that have happened and we also have thorfinn's just depression and self-doubt 
I don't know exactly what what are the symptoms of PTSD, but the recurring awful nightmares, I'm pretty sure is one of them. And a lovely flashback. Yes. Um, so there's probably... It might not be PTSD, but he actually, but he absolutely has trauma. Um, My man's traumatized. I wouldn't be surprised if he has PTSD and he has the fun thing that most people and like a lot of people, uh, but a lot of different people in anime with um, people who are like Avengers are like, okay, so like you get your revenge, but then what happens afterwards? Yeah. You don't have anything. You've spent your entire, you spent your entire life hating someone, and that's all you have fueling you. My favorite is when like go on a revenge spree for someone that like you end up like empathizing with by the end of it and you're like uh oh, well i was gonna kill you but now i can't um and that's kind of what thorfinn did i don't know if he would have ever have really been able to kill Ascalad. just like it's like, it's like a, i'm gonna kill you but never actually kills you yeah and then he got killed both on like a skill level like it would be really hard for th- for that to have worked out because as Ascalad said he gets hot-headed every time Thorfinn is wondering if he can change, if he can become a different person. I think that everyone is able to change. I think that real change in the way that you act is really, really hard, and most people give up, right? Thorfinn is like, I think he's a strong enough person to be able to change. And I do agree with Einar that he has already changed. I I really love their relationship. A lot. They're my favorite farm bros. I'd play a Vinland Saga farming simulator. Down to the uh, down to the stinky retainers burning down your farm. Yeah, and that's when you enter in the the combat portion of the farm simulator. <laughs> One of the main goals of this season is to uh, is to have Thorfinn grow and come to terms with everything that's happened. And I really appreciate his the writing and depiction of Thorfinn. He didn't say this, but I almost get the sense that he like feels like I I mean it's it's mostly subtext that he might not even feel like worthy of being treated nicely, you know? Like in the part where Einar was all like I'm going to I'm going to fight them because they're bad people for doing this. He was all like I'm a bad person. I'm ma- I'm way worse than any of them. And it's just like that kind of Self. Like he, like he believes that he needs to be punished for his past actions. Yeah. Low key, this is your punishment. You're gonna have to live with what you did. Yeah, I for feel the rest like of your life. I feel like your punishment is self-inflicted, and you've been punishing yourself for a long time. The most important part is that you realize that what you did was wrong. It's a very good depiction of, I'm sure, how a lot of people who struggle with depression feel like. A lot of people have had to live through wartime and actually killing or, someone probably yeah too. and a lot and a lot of people with trauma a lot of people with ptsd veterans uh whether they are worthy to continue living a happy life like sometimes people in those positions happiness will bring them like the most pain because they're like oh my god i shouldn't be allowed to feel this happy right and and that and those kinds of stories absolutely end my entire career <laughs> daniel paris is the end so I I just think in general most people are worthy of second chances. I think it's important to acknowledge y- your past. If you acknowledge what is wrong and then actually do th- take steps to change it, that is the most important part and the hardest part. And if good things come to you from the fact that you are changing the way that you live, then it's earned. This show is continues to be ho. Oh, beautifully written deep thinks have i have deep thinking thoughts every episode and i think think deeply about them if you think deeply subscribe and hit bell for notifications like video comment think think thoughts i'm daniel bye